Hi there! Welcome to this building video in the game Enshrouded. In this video I will build a medieval looking blacksmith station using a lot of small building tricks to make it really custom looking. If you have watched my previous videos you might notice I'm still using this crappy web camera. Uh, I plan to use kind of a GoPro. Uh, I had one lying about uh, and bought a tripod for it. Uh, but turns out since this is a GoPro 5 so it's a kind of stone age I can't really directly connect it with HDMI cable or uh, USB cable to my computer I need a video capture card as well so I guess I'm going to try to find a cheap video capture card anyway uh, if you didn't watch my video on actually building this house I will link it in the video description below I'm actually not really building the house I had some stuff pre-built but I go through all the material choices or the kind of detailing as well um, so well check that out uh, before we actually start working on the blacksmith station though there are some stuff I want to show indoors like inside of the house so let's head inside and directly up the attic I try to kind of make the attic attic looking. For me, like the attic is where you place all the stuff you don't have room for in the like other parts of the house. So you want the rest of the house to look neat looking. So you just stack the stuff you don't have place for up there, right? So that's why I kind of wanted this to look kind of messy. Um, however, I built a little divider and over here is the sleeping area, a lot neater looking. There's nothing here I feel like really called for a guide because it's just placing stuff except for maybe the flower pot over here but I already made a guide for flower pots so I will just link it in the description instead. Um, well actually this divider here, um, there's something worth mentioning. You can see if I remove this, this part here, this section, you see this gets a very rugged looking edge and that's the refined wood blocks. It's kind of safe for the half timber block. Most of the other kind of wood blocks get kind of this really rough looking edge. But since the refined wood goes really well together with a roof tile block, you can place roof tiles along the edge uh, to get kind of this really like a lot sharper corner here. Anyway, let's head downstairs uh, because what we will be doing there, I already kind of decorated a bit, uh, but not this area. And I will build a little kitchen here. Uh, Charge but I think complete. Like the, kitchen stuff for the farmer, like the fireplaces for the farmer, will look way too big here. So instead we are going to make kind of a custom kitchen area, custom fireplace over here. Uh, so that's what we will start with. Let's start by removing some of the wood planks here. And replace it with the roughly cut stone. The reason I do this is that below a fireplace you usually have some type of more like fire resistant floor, right? So I think this looks a lot better, or more realistic anyway. Uh, now let's start building the actual uh, fireplace. I want the chimney to stick out kind of a tiny bit from the wall, so let's start with that. Uh, also, the fireplace should be like five wide, so I'll put some here, and the rest we can probably do with like single blocks. I think this will be nice and kind of the correct size. Let's remove these ones. And I will also remove this little wall here to make it uh, deeper. We got the shape of the fireplace now, but I actually want to add uh, a fireplace inside of the fireplace. And the reason for that is to get kind of this basic fireplace to get the warmth buff. I don't want it to show because I want the thing that shows to be like my custom stuff, but I want it to give the buff. So we go like this, then we can press Y, I think, like this, and we get that stone back. I'm actually just gonna shake that it does not poke out in the back. Um, yeah, you can't see it. You can see you can pick it up, but you cannot see it, so that's great. Okay, time for the custom stuff. And for stuff to actually fit the way I'm showing in the video, you have to do it in the exact same order or, or stuff will not just end up where you want them to. So we actually have to start by uh, by placing the kettle here. Uh, like, I think maybe like this looks nice. Uh, then we remove the stove we just placed. So why? Crouch down and grab a torch. The tor torches are kind of great. Uh, for making custom made fireplaces because you can kind of, kind of show where you want the flames go up and then after you put them there you can hide them like below the ground like this so you see it's now a bit of flame there but we of course want more flame you can't really place cubes directly on top of it that's why I had to place this one and then remove parts of it 
because it won't really let me place a cube yeah, on top of that one. Let's add a torch maybe over here as well. And over here. And then I grab a shelf as well. This one is only kind of, I will use this one only to be able to place something else at a desired height. And that something else is the campfire. Like the campfire is, um, is going to burn out. So it's just gonna, going to burn for a little bit in here. Uh, but the thing is, I kind of want the logs to be there. Can I get it further in? What is blocking it? Maybe like this is the furthest. I think that's all right. So I want the logs to be there and they will be there even after it burns out. So it will look like it's the logs and not the torches burning. After this, we just uh, grab some more flintstone like this and cover it all up. Now we got this uh, really nice little uh, custom fireplace. You will see the legs better of the kettle once uh, the like the fire, the campfire, have burned out. Let's just add some decorations over here, and then the kitchen area will look really nice and cozy. This is the kitchen area now. I've been kind of light on the decoration, added a little bit of stuff in here as well. Uh, but what I mostly wanted to show is how the campfire look once it's burned out. You can see the charcoal logs are still there, kind of settled in below the kettle. So I think it looks really nice. Uh, other things I have not shown up here is the bathroom, a little bathroom in here, as well as a storage area over here with, well, just some stuff. Uh, but let's head down and start with the smithy. Um, Actually, before the smithy, I kind of want to add some debris here or some like old stuff here. I have a feeling this might end up being a long video, but this is a really little nice trick I, I kind of want to show. So we are actually going to build, dig like a bit of a hole here, I think. Like this. Maybe I actually should take, grab something a tiny bit larger for this, so it goes faster. Most objects you can place can kind of lean a bit, not a lot, but a little bit. And you can also cover them with dirt after they're placed, like both fully but also partially. So if I place like something here, let's see if I can get it to lean the direction I want to, like this maybe, and then cover that with dirt. Uh, let's grab this, I don't want it that high up, like, like this, right? Um, tiny bit here as well. And then we place can place some more objects here. I just want this to look like, you know, some stuff that has been left out. Maybe those two is actually enough. I don't want to overdo it either. And then we can actually place like a little bit more dirt here around. Like this maybe, would be nice. And now we got kind of this uh, debris lying here. Uh, so it doesn't look that tidy. Now let's start with the blacksmith. Time for the smithy. And just like with the fireplace in the kitchen, the order you do stuff here is important. So we'll start by removing a bit of stuff here. I have placed the shelf here partially below ground and the reason is I want to put a brazier on it and I don't want that brazier to kind of stick up too much. Uh, but first let's add some more flintstone here. Um, let's see like this. Grab our brazier. And it should sit like this more or less. I think that that is nice like that. Yeah, that looks all right. Uh, grab more flintstone, put it like this. Then remove the flintstone here and here and grab torches. You kind of have to put, try to position those so that they don't end up too far out because then you will actually see the flames up there. So like this something and then the same over here. Sometimes the character is really in the way when you try to play stuff like from actually spotting where you place stuff. And now we can actually press Y to undo, uh, undo these two blocks. If we try to place this crafting bench that I want here right now, you can see it's, it's not sitting evenly. So again, I will grab um, just a block and kind of put in the ground here like this. Grab the crafting bench. I think like this will fit really nicely. Yeah, looks about right. Maybe a tiny bit further in. Then we can again undo here, but I do think I need to add a little bit of a dirt road down here below because right now it's kind of hovering a little, tiny bit in the air. 
Next up, I kind of want to place these ones as some kind of shelf here along the hillside, but I want them a lot further into the hill than this. And you don't have to remove much of the hill to succeed with that, uh, just a tiny bit. So let's actually grab this one, just make like a little hole here inside of the hill. Like this, I think, will be all right. Uh, we grab these ones again. Now you can see we can place them pretty much anywhere we want to. Actually, I have to remove even more over there, though, uh, to get all the way in. Oh, there we go. All right, that's where I want them. I want to rotate this one a little bit, maybe like this, right? Uh, then we got the blacksmith tools, and I want the tools over... I think this will be nice over here. Like this, maybe. They're leaning a bit. I don't know if I like that they're leaning a bit. All right, that I'm happy with. Okay, now let's put uh, the hillside back again, because if you you cannot do it in the wrong order, but like once you got all the stuff in place here, it's actually, um, you can actually just go and place back all the hillside uh, behind it again, like this. Uh, you won't really care that you already have like a ton of stuff there. So I think that's, that's about all right. We got the blacksmith tools, we also need to place this one. And I think over here will be a pretty good place. So it kind of sits with the pole here, like this. Yeah, that looks good. This is the finished blacksmith. I thought it could be fun to show it in a different light as well. Uh, I have added a lot of small details here, but it's nothing that is building tricks, just placing objects. Uh, I have been to quite a few blacksmith shops and mechanical workshops in real life. And one thing they all have in common is they have like the stuff they produce lying about. So that's what I'm trying to replicate here with kind of the iron fences stacked towards the wall, as well as a lot of like small stuff on this table here. And even more so in here. Uh, Charge in complete. Uh, up here I have made small knobs sticking out from the wall using uh, cups that I stuck one after each other on top of a cube that I later removed uh, with some fence here as well. Uh, some more stuff here. Uh, some chests here because this will actually be a functional base. I need the magic chest. I don't like the look of the magic chest to be honest. Like it's not ugly but it doesn't really fit with any of the other stuff in a shrouded. Uh, so it looks kind of out of place. I much rather have them or wish they had used kind of uh, a chest that looked a lot more like the normal chest with just small like blue magic signs on top of it. Uh, I think that would have kind of fit better with the rest. Behind here is a walkway to my next project. One that we will not be showing in this video, uh, but in the next one. So that's it. Uh, I think we should finish by actually taking a look at the whole build as the sun rises over the horizon. Well, that was it for this uh, video. I uh, hope you found it useful. If you did, give a thumbs up. You might also have noticed I actually don't have like a filter here in the background like I used to on previous video. I thought that might increase the quality of the, of the web camera. And I don't have anything to hide it back in my bookshelf anyway. Uh, so you might as well see that one. Uh, but anyway, like if you got any suggestions that include like uh, how I can improve my videos, please write in the comment section below. Also suggestions for maybe future content or other games I should play as well. Uh, you're welcome to write them down there. I don't have like any Discord or something set up. I might do that in the future, but like right now the channel is so small that I feel like there's no real need for it uh, yet. Also, I'm kind of short on time. Uh, well, that was it for this time. See you in an another video in the future, I guess. Cheers.